Happy Thursday and happy birthday to my son, Max, turns 21 today. So uh, Max is a Marine and uh, so you can be praying for him, please, and uh, praying blessing on him in this year. And we're looking at uh, Kings and here's what it tells us. He, and this is Ahab, married Jezebel, the daughter of Ethbal, king of the Sidonians, and began to serve Baal and worshiped him. Ahab erected an altar for Baal in the house of Baal, which he built in Samaria. And he also made the Asherah. Thus Ahab did more to provoke the Lord God of Israel than all the kings of Israel who were before him. All right, so this is important to understand the story of Elijah. He is a response to Ahab, who was the king of the north, the northern kingdom, who does more to provoke the Lord God. In other words, he's the worst king and a bunch of bad kings. He's the worst one. And what does he do that's wrong? He leads, he erects an altar to the god Baal. And he leads the people to worship this false god Baal. And so in response to that, Elijah comes to call the people back to worship the one true God. And this is why Elijah is such a great uh, figure for us to study today. In a time in which our culture and more and more people are following other gods, they're following other things that are, are taking them away from the Lord, where attendance and interest in God seems to be waning. We need to be like Elijah, calling people back to worship the Lord. So let's pray to be like Elijah. Heavenly Father, we pray for our culture. We pray for our culture that seems to chase so many other things, power, possessions, pleasure, just everything else except you. So God, we pray that we would be like Elijah, that you would use us to bring people back into a relationship with you. And we pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen.